let me talk about the Florida Project then. Yes. Right. So um, there's a motel run by Willem Dafoe. And this is not a horror movie. <laughs> right? I want you to get off the bat straight away, because if I say there's a motel run by Willem Dafoe, you expect there's going to be some killing. Yeah, that was a scared laugh. <laughs> exactly, yeah. <laughs> it's one of the family guys shot of him crawling out from under the bed, sliding out. <laughs> so what you've got is this is the story of a young girl uh, played by Brooklyn Prince. Uh, her name is Mooney. She grows up, she's, she's growing up over, this, over the course of a summer in one of those extended stay motels. You know that you get in in the US where you check in for like three months to a motel? Oh, right, yeah, yeah. One of those. Willem Dafoe is the manager, and he's sort of like the parent figure to this complex as well. Um, the the mum is uh, frequently off, uh, you know, <sighs> grafting, we'll say, oh, okay. so making ends meet, uh, some sort of unskilled work. It's never particularly laid out. Some sort of unskilled work that she's forced to work long hours at, so she's kind of an absentee mum in one regard. Um and it's about how uh, Mooney grows up over the summer, the, the, how she spends the time with her friends and the, the adventures and misadventures, as it were, that they get into and how it begins to, how certain events start to impact their lives and change their, change their future for the better, for the worse. Well, it's up in the air. Here is a clip of Willem Dafoe telling off some kids. I got a videotape of the kids illegally entering the utility room. Do not talk to you, okay? Hey, Scooby. Do you hear what I just said? I got it. I'm going to talk to her. Captain Skin, you're out of here. It's only second week of the summer and there's already been a dead fish in the pool. We were doing an experiment. We were trying to get it back alive. That wasn't my idea. And, and water balloons thrown at tourists? You can't with tourists. They did Tip us. Are you serious? No. Oh my god, this is unacceptable. I failed as a mother, Mooney. You disgraced me. Yeah, Mom, you're disgraced. I love this film. Okay. I, 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 I I didn't expect to at all. So this comes from the guy that made Tangerine. All right. You remember that one at all? I think. So. That was the one shot on an iPhone. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I was, I was going to say, I think I remember there's something ridiculous. Yeah, about it was it. shot on an iPhone, and every broadsheet critic declared it to be the greatest piece of film ever constructed. And you sit and think, well, oh, of course you did. You're from a broadsheet. And, uh, yeah. And you came away from thinking, okay, it's a, it's a novelty that it's shot on an iPhone. The central performance was all right. That's really all it's got going for it. I don't see the great talent here. This time around, Sean Baker, the director of that film, has decided he's going to make a film properly. All right. It's kind of like when people make a found footage film first, then they go and make an actual film afterwards. <laughs> kind of the same thing. Um, and so he's he's, uh, say he's he's written this as well. He's co-written this with uh, Chris Burgotch. Uh, I think co-wrote uh, Tangerine with him as well. Right. Um, this is a way, way better movie than Tangerine was. Um, really gripping in, in the sense of... It, he never lets up with just how absolutely confident in itself it is. It very much knows its locale, that kind of a sleazy, you know, you know some bad stuff's going on, but yeah. you can kind of overlook it if you just walk quickly enough kind of a location. Uh, one of those... Um, uh, Bria Venate as as the mum, Hallie, uh, I think she's great. Willem Dafoe obviously owns this film, but uh, its breakout star is Brooklyn Prince. I don't even know how old Brooklyn Prince is. She, child actress, she's absolutely tremendous. Uh, it doesn't say her, her actual age on her IMDb page, but she's can't be older than like seven or eight tops. All oh, right, can't be, can't be older than seven tops. And she's fantastic in this. Um, to the extent that, and she and the other child actors in it actually all as well, I wondered how much of their dialogue was actually improvised and how much was scripted because it's so naturalistic. Yeah. It's so believable and so utterly, unflinchingly childlike. And you just, you completely buy it that you think, have they, have they really just not let these kids in and just hold them? Just go and play and we'll film you. Yeah. Which is a dodgy thing to ask kids anyway. <laughs> just go and play. We'll film you. Um, yeah, and, and it feels like that. You wonder how tightly scripted it is, but apparently there is some scripting in there. There is a sequence in which she, she's made to cry, and that apparently is scripted. And you think, wow, okay, so there, there clearly is a quite a skilled an actress inside this little girl. And she's absolutely an unbelievable find. Uh, the final five minutes of it involves some guerrilla-style filming that will remind you of a certain... 
infamous horror movie that's gone on Netflix in the last year or so uh, called Escape to Tomorrow, okay. uh, which I'll tell you about later. Um, but uh, yeah, I really, I really liked it. I was gripped. I did come away. Um, there's a couple of thematic things that I think needed uh, thematic elements. I think needed more reinforcement that needed to be bolstered. Need to be you know have more attention drawn yeah, to yeah, them. Yeah. Uh, but other than that, I really enjoyed it. And especially compared to Tangerine, I thought oh, infinitely better film. It's uh, an hour fifty one. Uh, kind of breezes by, feels like about 100 minutes. It feels about 10 minutes shorter than it is. I really liked it. I think Willem Dafoe absolutely steals it. Um, and guess what? Willem Dafoe is a motel manager in a movie that it turns out does not involve murders. On screen. <laughs> 